Well, hello there. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Butterfly House Tours. My name is Megan and I'm one of the naturalists here at Beaver Creek Reserve. For those that are unable to come out here, we are making videos just like this one about different butterflies and caterpillars in the house so you can view the butterfly house from home. Hi, I'm Ruth from Beaver Creek Reserve and I'd like to introduce to you today some videos that we've been putting together called Trailside Treasures. And they are going to be short little clips of things that we are finding along the trail. So here are our two butterflies. Now I want you to take a minute and I want you to see if you can tell the difference between these two very different butterflies. And this week's Trailside Treasure I just found on the goldenrods and the asters that are out and blooming right now. Uh, they are full of all sorts of little creatures. So once we emerge from our chrysalis, we become a beautiful butterfly just like this one up here. Uh, the, the reason they're called touch me nots is the seed capsule um, gets very thick and is designed to explode with very little touch or pressure. So, oh, we have a chrysalis, but this isn't a giant spiral chrysalis. I want you to think about which one it is. So, here we actually have a giant spiral egg. So, let's take a closer look. You can definitely see the caramel color to it when you look a little bit closer. First off, we can see how big this skull was. Remembering that the skull is usually about one third or one quarter the whole body length. And so it wouldn't make sense to say that this was a squirrel or that this was a deer. It would be a very small deer, really huge squirrel. So as you can see right here, we have a little cabbage white caterpillar making his way around our gazebo here in the butterfly house. But these are our caterpillars that we have. They are bright green. So why would they be bright green? Let's think. Now some people will ask, well, how come, you know, how come the ditches are almost all invasive? And partly because of the mowing practices that we have. Uh, once the plants are in seed, then the mowers pick up the seed on the blades and just spread it down the, down the road. But if I kind of poke him a little bit very carefully on the side, you'll see there, kind of towards the top of his head, there's a orange V that's coming out. The galls are caused by a golden rod gall fly. Try saying that three times fast, holy cow. So the first difference we're gonna talk about between moss and butterfly differences is when these two are at rest. And so when a moth is at rest, like sitting on a plant or in a tree, their wings are back just like this and they're more spread apart. And what I think it looks like is a jet taking off. When you're out and about, make sure you're looking low and under things and walking slow, and you'll find all sorts of trailside treasures like these. Hi everyone, my name is Megan, and I'm one of the naturalists here at Beaver Creek Reserve. So if you enjoyed that video, well, you're in luck. This summer, Beaver Creek naturalists like myself, Ruth and Jim have made over two hours of short educational videos on subjects like ferns, flowers, foraging for wild edibles, and not to mention a live look at what's living in our butterfly house during the summer. So let us help you experience Beaver Creek virtually, especially with at-home learning with our educational videos on our YouTube page, and also by visiting Beaver Creek to join our Junior Naturalist program for fun, hands-on activities. And don't forget to subscribe for more great videos like this. Thanks everyone for watching.